hanging up in Witch's Hall. For when you stare at your reflection, I begin my dinner selection. So look at me in pure disgrace. Not too close, I'll bite your face. For you hear my call and cries at last. I'll pull you in behind the glass. So next time you stare at me to view, remember I'm staring back at you. <laughs> As you can see, animatronics are very effective in setting the mood for your house. They can also establish a high-tech show that justifies your admission price. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you some other haunted houses visited by the doctor and myself. The first one up is a haunted jail from Columbia City, Indiana. It was built way back in 1875. Now, Let's talk to Head Fright Master over there, Bruce Coyle, and find out why people are just dying to get into jail. Literally. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce Coyle, project chairman for the Haunted Jail in downtown Columbia City, Indiana. Once starting our haunted house, it became an immediate success for several reasons. One of those is the naturally haunting appearance of the old Victorian style building which was built in 1875. Another very important reason for our success is this basic philosophy. Remember one thing in the haunted house business. People go to a haunted house because they love the thrill of being scared. We are here to sell a product. That product is fear. I encourage our monsters to mentally and physically become the creature they are portraying each evening while working the jail. Our most enthusiastic actors are definitely our most effective monsters. Remember, you are the stalkers. In a haunted attraction, you're the ones that make it happen. If you properly terrorize your visitors, word on the street spreads fast and you can't help but have a successful haunted house. From our ghouls to your ghouls, Happy haunting on Halloween. In the eye of night, when darkness holds the land, the doorway is open to other realms where creatures lurk, waiting for the unwary. Clutching things crouch and lurch in the shadows with coal lamp eyes, razor fangs, and a taste for human flesh. So beware, mortal, for you never know what waits. In the dark. Next up is Reaper's Realm from Hammond, Indiana. Let's talk to caretaker Jamie Rohner over there and find out why people are just screaming for more. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie Rohner from Reaper's Realm Haunted Mansion in Hammond, Indiana. It doesn't matter if you're a one-time event or an established haunted house, we all need good acting. A percentage of your house's success will come from the ability, the attitude, and the energy level your actors will portray. Uh, I don't have an answer as to what makes a great actor, but I do know that all too often these people are overlooked and taken for granted. I'd like to read something to you that uh, was printed in a local newspaper a couple years back. 
And it just says, uh, Rona is quick to attribute the success to the characters. We spend a lot of time on each scene, but that's all they are, scenes, he said. It takes actors to bring each scene to life, and we have a great cast. I do know that uh, I, I've given these people a lot of respect and, and credit, and uh, they, in turn, then do the same for myself. If you've never been in the uh, role of a character, I suggest you try it for an evening. It'll definitely give you a different perspective as to what the actors go through. I don't have all Oscar winners or, or Academy Award winners, but I do know that uh, if I give an actor a better explanation as to what it takes, they, uh, they can obviously work their job much better. And also, uh, I let my actor know that, that they're valued and, and feel appreciated no matter where they are in the house, if they're in the beginning of the house, middle of the house, or end of the house. It doesn't matter, they're all as important. I've noticed that by giving the actors a, a little bit extra credit, uh, that they go a little bit extra further for me. Each night I try to do a walk through and, and give them a, a, a thumbs up or a high five and uh, let them know that I appreciate the job that they're doing for us. It doesn't matter if they're volunteers or, or paid salary people, they, uh, they still stand between making your house a good, good one or a bad one. So uh, I think that uh, you might want to take this advice uh, for what it's worth. I've, I've learned this a long way down the road, uh, many, many years. Uh, and uh, the, the, the actors will only give you what you treat them. And, uh, all too often, I've seen, unfortunately, actors mistreated. And uh, they just don't care at that point. They're just there to do, uh, collect the paycheck, and we don't need that. Uh, have fun with them, and they'll have fun with you when you all have fun with the event. I wish you and your actors many, many scares and many, many nights of success. Have fun with it. Thank you very much. Next up on our little terror trip, we're off to Poughkeepsie, New York, where a man named Kevin McCurdy is busy scaring thousands of people in the haunted mansion. <laughs> Haunted Mansion and Fright Trail in Poughkeepsie, New York. It is an elaborately produced horror experience. We feature a different theme each year as the mansion undergoes a complete revamping. This requires over nine months of design and construction. We are open weekends throughout October.
these attractions draw thousands of people from all over the Northeast. For more information on the haunted mansion and flight trail, call the bat line at 914-293-1000. B-A-T-T, beginning September 1st. Scarce looking at you. <laughs>